Hi everybody, it's me, Sandy Sandler, and I want to welcome you to our Facebook Live. I'm really excited because we've got more wedding stuff that we're gonna be doing this time. And I have Mallory filming, and I have uh, Michael filming for Facebook, Mallory's for Instagram, and Whitley's gonna help us answer your, respond better to your comments. So thanks again so much for joining. And I'm gonna start by showing you guys the Bodabras and the Mini Bodabra. So just in case you're not familiar with the Bodabra tool yet, um, there's springs underneath here. So my Bodabra is gonna automatically adjust to the width. And the Mini Bodabra is exactly the same as the Big Bodabra, but it's great for hair bows, and littler bows for scrapbooking and card making. And then we also have our Bodabra tool, which slips over the mini Bodabra, and this lets you measure. Um, and we have great instructions that come with the hair bow tool. And, oh my gosh, okay, finally, I announced it last week, but we do have our Bodabra app in both the iOS store and the Android or Google Play store. So please go to your app stores and search for Bodabra. The iPad, the tablet ones are not quite out yet, but they will be out, um, I think, tomorrow. So cross your fingers. Okay, I'm going to start with our Bodabra bow wire. And Mallory is watching through the camera at me as she films. <laughs> this is so much fun having you guys here filming. So I'm taking my Bodabra bow wire, I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna lay it down into my Bodabra. So I have this ribbon that I've already cut, and I'm just gonna fold it in half. It's a really pretty diamond bridal design. And then I'm just gonna scrunch this down into my Bodabra. And I've dovetailed the ends of it. So just in case you're not familiar with dovetailing, just going to fold it in half and I'm going to cut towards the fold from the end. So that gives you the really pretty dovetailed ends. You get it's a nice finish. Crystal Jewel said, hi Sandy, yay, this app is awesome. Oh cool, thank you Crystal. I'm so excited you were able to get it. It was like it's something we've been working on for a while. So now what I'm doing is I'm just folding my bodabra, my ribbon back and forth. Because this is a two-sided ribbon, I'm gonna twist it so the wrong side of my bow stays inside my loop. One of the things that I like to do is I'll just fold my, my loops up so it gives me the, the exact measurement. I know they're the same. And then once I have the first two the same, then as I go along, I just have to keep my bows to the same um, length on each side, my loops, I mean. So I'm gonna fold, twist. I'm just gonna fold it back and twist so that always the wrong side is on the inside. And I'm gonna fold back. I'm gonna twist. And I'm gonna fold and twist. Kat Hustler said, hi Sandy, and Terry said she has the app. Oh, cool, thanks Terry, and hi Kat. It's so awesome that you guys are watching. I really appreciate it. So here I'm just gonna take my wand and scrunch everything down. Then I have this really pretty glitter pattern tool, and I'm just gonna put this into the middle, and I'm gonna do what we call is our scrunchy bow. And you can also do this with our scrunchy ribbon which we have for sale in our store. I'm just gonna scrunch this down here and take my Bodabra wand and push everything down into my Bodabra. And actually, um, do I have an extra roll? I'm gonna take my Bodabra scrunchy silver ribbon because I think it might really add a little bit of panache. And I'm just gonna take a piece of this and again, I'm just going, oh, I'm gonna move my Bodabra again this way, and I'm just gonna scrunch this into my Bodabra. And I'm gonna take my wand again and just scrunch everything in. Then I'm gonna take my flower and I'm just gonna lay my flower in here. And again, I'm gonna just scrunch it all down just one more time. 
because I've got a lot of ribbon in there. And then I'm gonna take my Bodabra bow wire, and because I folded it in half, I have a slip knot. So I can pull it through and pull it really tight. Pull it Cat out. Hustler said, I've been using my mini Bodabra to crank out cat toys by the bucket load since last pause last year. Love oh my gosh. That's so cool, thank you. You know, you, you should really, if you guys don't mind sharing pictures of the projects that you make on our Bodabra site or on our fan page, and then that way everybody can get ideas from your great creations. So now what I did is I just pulled this out, crossed it, I'm gonna tie a knot, and just for good measure, I'm gonna double knot it, then I'm gonna move my bow over, and I'm going to shape it, so I want my flower there, and then take my, my I call it, I keep wanting to call it scrunchy ribbon, but it's tulle, and then now I'm just gonna shape out my bow, keep it on the black here, so hopefully you guys can see exactly what I'm doing here. And let me just take a look at this while I fluff it. And you have a real, oh, bring my tails down. And you have a really pretty bow. So that just gives you a really, a, oops, get the tail down there. Gives you a really good idea of how simple, it's gonna bring the flower in there. How simple you can make a pew bow or a gift wrapping bow in Bodabra. So now I'm going to go on and we're going to make a cute little girl headband. So I'm going to take some Bodabra. Actually, I have silver and I mean gold in here. So I'm going to take my um, Bodabra bow wire. I'm going to fold it in half and lay it down into my Bodabra. And I'm just going to tuck the ends underneath so they stay out of my way. And now what I'm going to do is I have this really pretty tool that has like really pretty gold sparkles on it. I'm just going to twist it and put that down into the bow dabra. I'm going to fold it back and twist it and put that into the bow dabra. And if you guys just let me know that everything is showing up really well, that you're seeing everything, um, from our camera shot. So I'm going to pull that all down in there. And now I'm going to take my, it's just like a two inch wide tool that you can just pick up at any craft store. Just going to fold it back and forth. And so I've been having a lot of people watching last week's video and letting me know where they're from and what the weather's like where they are. I just came back from Minneapolis and it was actually really nice. I think it was almost 70 yesterday when we left. It was beautiful. So I'm gonna keep turning back and forth and twist it, fold it back, and I'm gonna just put that down and take one more across here. Then I'm gonna take this really pretty um, floral pick and what I did at the end here is just cover it with glue from a hot glue gun so that it won't stick or be sharp in a little girl's, uh, against a little girl's head. So we do double duty protection to make sure nothing is rough if we're making a headband. So I'll just scrunch everything down in here. And you can also make this bow very easily in the mini bow dabra. So I'll pull it through my slip knot, hold it down, Pull it really tight while it's still in the bodabra. Take it out. I'm going to separate the ends, bring them around to the back, and I'm going to tie a knot. And I think this would be really, really pretty for a flower girl. Southern Charm Reefs said she loves her bodabra. Oh, thank you, Southern Charm Reefs. I'm assuming you're from the South and you make wreaths. So let me know if my guess is anywhere near correct. <laughs> so thanks you guys so much. And also thank you so much for sharing. Okay, so here, what I did is I found where the seam is on the headband. And I'm just going to take one piece of my bow wire and just pull it right through here. And then I'm gonna pull it back through this way, right next to the seam through this little hole 
whoops, get through here. Southern charm said you are Texas. <laughs> so where in the South are you from? So now I'm just gonna knot it or um, tie it and then knot it so that it's tight onto the headband. And I'm gonna clip the ends right here. And now I'm gonna shape my bow. So I'm gonna kind of push, pull this in here. I'm gonna take my little flowers and sort of just twist them and the leaves. Jury said, hi Cindy, and Southern Charm Ruth said, Columbia, South Carolina. Oh, South Carolina, that's so cool. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and hi, Julie. So, there you go, and now you have this beautiful little headband that a flower girl can use. Isn't that pretty? Jeannie said, hi, Sandy, that is super cute. Thank you, Jeannie. Jeannie makes really cool hair bows, and she always shares them with us on our Bodaver page, which is really cool because I get really good ideas from Jeannie. She's so creative. So now we're gonna make a really fun little flower. Let's move this over here. A really fun flower girl wand, or even just a little princess wand. So I'm gonna grab my silver Bodaver bow wire. I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm just gonna lay this down into my Bodabra, and I'm just gonna tuck everything underneath. Then I'm gonna just take a simple chopstick and I'm gonna lay this down into my Bodabra. Then I have just some pieces of ribbon that I've cut and they're just various widths between like an, a quote, half an inch, five eighths of an inch, and I'm just gonna fold them in half Crystal said, very cute, and Jeannie said, aw, thank you. Oh, thank you, Crystal and Jeannie. So I'm just mixing and matching um, different colors, and I forget how long these were. We measured them before, and I think they're 24 inches. Let me just double check that. Yeah, they're 24 inches, and I'm just gonna keep laying these in here. So, um, and just in case you're catching coming in a little late, I want to remind you guys that we do have the Bodabra app. It's totally free and it will give you great ideas on projects you can make. Okay, so now I'm just taking this um, little star and putting that in here. And then I have this cute little, um, I'm going to actually start this up here little um, ribbon with the gold beads on it. I have no idea where I found it. Just, you know, I, you guys, all of us that have tons of ribbon and tons of crafts, we have all of this stuff in our craft room. So it's just kind of grab what you find. And then now I'm gonna, oh, I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna lay this down in here and I'm gonna fold this in here. And then I'm gonna turn it to the side and I'm gonna scrunch everything down. And now I'm gonna pull this through the slip knot, hold everything tight while it's still in the bodabra, pull it out, separate the ends, and bring it around to the back. And my neighbor, Carter, who's just so adorable, she loved this wand. She thought it was so much fun, and it's so easy to make. So now I'm just gonna knot this. And now I'm going to just kind of shape everything around and bring the flowers around here. And actually this flower, I'm going to actually twist it there so it keeps everything kind of going down on the wand. And I'm going to bring this guy out here. And I'll bring my flowers and twist them around. And I'm going to clip my wire. And now, I'm, um, whoops, okay, there we go. So now you have a really cute, let me read that there, a really, really cute little flower girl wand that's just really pretty. You can just see them walking down the aisle with all of the 
stuff like ribbon flying all over the place. Isn't that fun? So let me know what you guys think. Gail said too cute. Oh, it's got purple too. So of course Gail likes it because Gail loves purple. So now I'm gonna just take you, let you look at it one more time and I'm gonna put this aside and we are going to make another really pretty flower girl headband. So let me just take my silver bow wire. Julie said, I love it. Yours was so much easier to make than the one I made. Oh, thank you. Who was that that said that? Julie. Oh, thank you, Julie. Yeah, it's just pretty easy. And I have another one that I'm going to make that I think will be just as easy. And I think, actually, I think I'm going to use the big bow dab. Mm, yeah, I think. No, nope, I'm going to use a mini. <laughs> so now I'm going to fold my bow dab or bow wire in half, lay it down into my mini bow dab and tuck everything underneath. Then I'm going to take my headband, whoops, and I'm going to stick my headband right in the bow dab then I'm going to take my, my lace, and it's just about an inch and a half wide, and I'm going to twist it. I'm going to fold it, and then I'm going to twist it again. And um, you know what, guys? I'm making this in the big bodabra. Sorry about that. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my bodabra bow wire that I already cut and lay it into my big bodabra. I think it'll be a little bit easier to keep everything in. And I'm just going to put this, because I want the um, bow to be on the side of the headband. So now I'm just going to fold and twist and fold and twist and just do three. I'm just going to do three loops there. Then I'm going to take my pink ribbon and I'm going to start with, let me clip the end of that, don't like that. And so now I'm just going to fold back and forth and twist. So these are really cute ideas for headbands. And I'm making them with wedding involved in, in mind, but you could certainly make these for any event. I'm just going to fold back and forth. And I don't need to twist this ribbon because it's the same on both sides. It's just basically a satin wired ribbon. And now I'm going to just lay in some flowers. Another flower of the same flower over here. And then I have these really pretty pink flowers. And I'm just going to kind of lay those in. And so now I'm going to take my Bodabra wand. And I'm just going to scrunch everything down just for good measure. Take my Bodabra bow wire. I'm going to pull it, whoopsie daisy, pull it through the slip knot. Hold the bow really tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Pull it tight, pull it out. And now I'm gonna separate my ends and I'm gonna bring them around the back of the bodabra. And I'm gonna tie a knot. And then I'm just going to flip right there and kind of shape out my loops here and bring these loops back around here and fluff this out and bring my flowers here and my little roses there Oops. and you have a really pretty little headband that's so simple to make so do you guys like that one and we'll make more. Oh, whoops, I want to fix my flower there. Crystal said and we'll that make... is really pretty. Thank you, Crystal. So, and so simple. So like any time that you want to make a really pretty headband for any occasion, you can just pick any color ribbon and do anything that you like with it in the Vodabra, which is what I love. So now I'm going to put that aside and we are going to make another wand. Now, with this wand, whoops, it's actually got um, lights on it. So we can actually, so I love this, we can light this up. So I, can you guys see the lights? I think it's so cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this into, oh, I guess I need wire. It would probably help. 
Gail said that can be a fascinator too. Jimmy said love that and Carrie said so great. So cool, thanks you guys. So now I'm gonna fold it in half and lay this down. You know, the cool thing is you can pretty much do anything you want. It's your imagination that is the only limit. So I have my bow dabber bow wire, and now I'm going to just move this out of the way here. Here, okay, you can talk, Michael. <laughs> Michael's filming, okay, how does that, there. Is that good? Yes. And then? All the way down. Oh, we need more, that's right. Okay, thanks. So here, um, I'm going to take out all of my, whoops, my ribbon. So now I'm going to just fold these pieces in half and lay them down into the bow dab. Like that, maybe. So we're going to make them a little bit longer on this end. So everything in here, I'm just going to put them in the center. And I have to find all my ribbon that I didn't use. I'm kind of making a mess here. I should have, what I should have done, in fact, what I'm going to do is put these together and just lay them in together. And I'm not worried because I want them to just all flow really freely. And take one more and I have satin ribbon and I have regular ribbon. And I'm just gonna lay my flowers in here and put these flowers this way and take one more, put them that way. And then I'm gonna take my bow dabber bow wire. Oh, whoops, I think I almost forgot. I have this really pretty piece here. So I'm gonna just lay this down in here. And now I'm gonna take my bow dabber bow wire. I'm gonna pull it through my slip knot, hold this all really tight. And that's the really cool thing about bow dabra is I'm kind of deciding as I'm going which way I'm gonna put stuff in. And it doesn't really matter because it's gonna look really pretty when I'm done regardless. So now I'm gonna take this, put the bodabra aside and bring this around to the back. Jeannie said and beautiful and May said lots of hearts. Oh, thank you, May and Jeannie. I love hearts, May, thank you. And I'm gonna knot it here and then I'm gonna cut it. And I'm going to Take my, um, these are kind of bendable, which I love because it's really cool. And I'm gonna take my um, flowers and I'm just gonna kind of shape them around here and take the ribbon and kind of lay some ribbon through here. So it goes through the, um, through where the lights are. And then let ribbon just hang down and turn this on. And now what I would do is I would, this is actually pretty big. You can get smaller ones and then that way you can just take everything and wrap it up for the little girl to kind of walk down the aisle. Isn't that pretty and fun and easy? Like super, 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 super easy. Crystal said that wand with lights and embellishments with pretty ribbon will be a fairy princess dream. Yeah, exactly. I think that it's like the perfect fairy princess walking down the aisle. So pretty. So I'm just gonna hold that up there one more time. Whoops, I'm, you guys aren't seeing the pretty flowers. Cat Hustler sent lots of hearts. Oh, thank you for the hearts. I love hearts. So now I'm gonna put this aside. And we actually, I wasn't sure we would have time but I think we actually have time to do a really pretty corsage that could be for the bridesmaids or the mother of the bride or the um, mother of the groom. So I'm going to make a really pretty little corsage and I'm going to fold my wire in half and lay this down into my bodabra and I'm just going to tuck everything underneath. And now next week we're going to do, just so you guys are aware, we're gonna do hair bows and headbands. So I'm gonna fold this in half and I'm just going to kind of cross it here and put that down into my bow tabra. So it's 
just going to be really simple and pretty. Then I'm going to lay my um, little, um, it's sort of a string of beads. And I'm going to put my rows in here. And I'm going to make a little tiny bow on top. So we're, this is just a um, satin ribbon that's wired. It's the same on both sides, so I'm just going to fold it. But I am going to fold and twist. Just because I think it will hold better if I actually twist it. It'll shape better is what I mean. So I'm just going to do three loops. And I'm going to take my Bodabra wand. I'm going to scrunch everything down. And then I'm going to pull my wire through my slip knot. Hold everything tight while it's still in the Bodabra. Pull it out. And I'm going to separate the ends of my wire. Bring them around to the back. I'm going to tie a knot. Whoops. I think I'm going to tie a knot. <laughs> and I'm going to clip my wire. And I'm going to just shape this out here. You can see what I'm doing there. And shape here. And bring the flower around so it looks real pretty. And I'm going to just finish it off with, I have a piece of our gold mesh and a piece of the, the ribbon. And I'm just putting them together. And I'm just going to go down here and bring it around. And the reason I put the ribbon is that that way you won't see through the mesh. So... I'm going to, I think somewhere I have, here they are. I'm gonna grab a glue dot and I'm gonna just put a glue dot right here so I can start this right there on the back. And then I'm gonna grab one more glue dot. I'm gonna put it here so that that stays together. And then just one more glue dot for here. And we're gonna bring that around. And then we're gonna shape, whoops, sorry. I'm gonna shape this all out. It's hard for me to do it for the camera without me looking at it. Bring this up here. And all of my loops around, flowers, and my little pieces here. And it makes a very, very pretty pin for the mother of the bride. So I hope you guys like it. I think I need to shape this a little bit better. But anyway, so that sort of ends, in a little way, our series this month of weddings. But next month, we're going to do hair bows and headbands and all different kinds of cheer bows, dance bows, all different kinds of bows for your hair. Plus, we even have one week where we're going to do wedding headpieces and ideas for your wedding. So I will look forward to seeing you guys next week. And please write to me and let me know what subjects you want me to cover, especially in hair bows. If there's a specific hair bow or headband you want me to make with Bodabra, then send me a picture. So I'll see you guys next Monday at 4 p.m. Pacific. Bye.